What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima Device Vids, and this is Tweak Recap. And as always, I'm going to be showing you guys five of the best jailbreak tweaks that are compatible with the latest version of iOS that is jailbreakable. At this time, it's iOS 8.1.2, and let's get right into it. And the first tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Sphere View. It's available in Cydia for $3.99, and it's pretty easy to detect. I'm running it right now. And basically what this tweak does is it replaces your home screen, temporarily of course, with this sphere, with this sphere of apps that you could interact with. As you can see, you could swipe around just like this. You could swipe slower or faster, and it will continue to spin, as you can see, depending on how you swipe. And it's actually very cool. I'm very impressed by this tweak. As soon as I saw it in Cydia, I was very um, excited to get my hands on it. And I got to tell you, it's very cool. It's just very impressive that this is able to be done with iOS. You could also zoom in just like this. And as much as I'm impressed by it, I don't really see a practical use for this tweak. I absolutely love playing with it and obviously just kind of scrolling around and, you know, just kind of using it. But on a practical, you know, day-to-day -day basis, I'm not really sure when this would come in handy. Of course, you could open apps just like that. You just tap on an app and it will open. And it's a little bit hard to find apps. That's the reason why um, I wouldn't, I don't know, see a use in this on a daily or day-to-day -day basis because as you can see you have to scroll around to find an app let's say I wanted to I don't know open up um, stocks you know I'd have to scroll around until I find stocks which could take a long time there it is and then I could tap on it but again it's not necessarily the quickest way to navigate all the apps on your device and there's no real way to search the apps either there's no real spotlight search or anything like that so that's just something that Again, it's not so practical about this, but I absolutely love it. And as you can see, the apps get uh, closer, they, they get bigger as they uh, get closer to your perception in the sphere. So that's pretty cool. Let's just go into the settings and I'll show you a few, a few of the things that you could do. And of course, how to get this working after you install it. You want to go into settings and scroll down until you see sphere view and you want to go in there. And here are all the options at the top. We have the ability to disable it. So if you want to temporarily disable the tweak, you want to enable this toggle. And by the way, all the changes in here, as you can see, if I change one thing, I will have to respring my device. I'm just going to go ahead and select cancel. But here are some of the other options. We could have rounded uh, icons. And let's just try that out. We'll go ahead and enable it. And you also have the ability to hide or show the label and disable the dock. Now, I have disabled the dock and hid the labels, but I'll just go ahead and disable those to show you what it looks like with those things on. There's also some other settings down here for uh, the dock down here. You could view some of the settings. I'm not going to get into all that, but we're just going to go ahead and respring our device to apply the changes. Make sure you do that. Okay, so my device is finished applying all the changes. And as you can see, it looks quite different now. With the app labels and the dock, it does look a little bit more, I don't know, uh, convoluted maybe. But it might be a little bit easier to find apps. You know, as you can see, we have the labels up here. So you could uh, find an app and open it quick, quicker maybe than you were able to do before. And as you can see, the labels also get bigger as they get closer to you. And of course, the dock is not just your traditional dock, which you've probably already noticed. It's this uh, section titled Notification Apps. And as it sounds, any of the apps on your device that have a notification, so for me right now, it's the Mail app and the Cydia app. I have an update in Cydia and 11 unread emails. It's going to put those applications down here. And this is very similar to a tweak that I talked to you guys about, uh, not last week's Tweak Rec app, but the week before that, I believe. And it was basically called Conferro. And what that allowed you to do is view all the app uh, applications on your device that had notifications and this tweak does that and of course this sphere so uh, the conferro like settings are implemented right into this tweak and also the circle icons as you can see um, so if you prefer that you can do that and again that's pretty much it for this tweak it's called sphere view there are a few other settings that I didn't go over but this is pretty much the idea of the tweak I really like it it's super fun but I'm not sure about practical but who knows maybe you prefer this and once again it's called sphere view it's available in Cydia for three dollars and ninety nine cents and the next tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Camrix. This one's available in Cydia for $2.99. And what this tweak allows you to do is quickly access your camera from anywhere on your device, whether you're inside an application, on your home screen, wherever you are. And it's this really cool circular interface. So you could access it from anywhere, and you could use any activator gesture to activate it. Mine's set, so if I swipe up on any icon on my home screen, it's going to activate it. So I'll go ahead and do that. And as you can see, as soon as you do that, you have this nice live viewfinder and you can move around with your finger just like this, as you can see, and you could drag it down to the little X down here and the whole thing will turn red eventually just like that. And you could go ahead and release and it will close it just like that. Let's just open it up again. And of course you could open up applications while you're doing this. You could do whatever you want to do with your device. As you can see, interact with it completely. 
everything's completely functional it just allows you to use your camera now if you want to take a picture all you have to do is just go ahead and tap like this on the viewfinder and it'll take a picture and it's saved to your camera roll now if you want to take a video you just tap and hold like this and there will be this red border as you can see right here around the um viewfinder and it's recording video right now and if we tap and hold again it's going to stop just like that and of course you can configure whether it is the front or back facing camera in the settings so let's just go ahead and close it using the x and of course i just want to show you quickly in my camera roll i have the video and it took a bunch of pictures it actually took eight pictures so uh, i did that a little bit earlier but anyways let's just go into our settings here and we'll scroll down until we see uh cameras and then we could go in there and of course, here are our settings. We have um, some things here. For example, of course, you could just enable or disable the tweak. There's your activation method. Again, mine was swiping up on a home screen icon, but you could use any of these. Just check any one you want. Mine was down here. Once again, it was to swipe up. There you go, on an icon. And let's just go back here. And here's the default camera that I was talking about. You could either use the rear camera or the front facing camera. Mine is actually set on rear. And the reason it was the front one was because this is actually an iPod Touch fifth generation, the model that doesn't have the camera. So it just defaults to the um, front one. But and again, you could choose between these depending on which device you have, of course, or just what your preference is. And there's some other settings down here you could configure as well. There's tons of things. There's actually a lot of things here, as you can see. There's a lot of customization. You could get this working exactly the way that you want it to work. There's also a how to use section right here, as you could see. It just gives you a quick little slideshow. You could scroll down like this, and it's just how to use the tweak. And once again, this tweak is called Camrix. It is available in Cydia for $1.99. Next up, we have Tinch. This one's available in Cydia for free, and it allows you to change the color of toggle switches on your device. So as you can see right here, I have this nice border around my airplane mode toggle. And if I toggle it, as you can see, it's going to be red. Same thing with any other toggle. For example, Wi-Fi, as you can see here. I can make that a different color. It's just red. And of course the border, as I showed you earlier, for all my toggles are blue. And if you scroll down in your settings app, you'll be able to go into the tinch settings. And there's this is where you could configure it. Of course, make sure it's enabled. And there are two switches. There's one for on, one for off. Here's the on one. You could go into choose color. And you have this entire uh, board. You could go like this. You could swipe your finger around and explore the colors. You could also use the RGB red green blue sliders get the exact color you want same thing with the switch off and then afterwards it's not required that you respring but it is recommended so just go ahead and select this and it will apply all the changes that you made and the changes have applied i'm just going to go into settings here and i changed the toggle on color to green and as you can see it did take an effect now that's actually the default color in ios that's kind of a bad example but as you saw earlier i had the pink border and i have the blue off border so you could use any color you want once again, it's called Tinch. It's available on Cydia for free. And the next tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Bigify. And this one's for iOS 8, of course. This is actually a really old tweak. I remember this was around back in the iOS 4 days. This is a really old tweak, but it still works great. And I'm going to be showing you guys that. And it's available on Cydia for $2. Where if you own a previous version of it, you could upgrade to this version with iOS 8 compatibility for $1. And this tweak gives you ultimate controls over the icons on your home screen. You could configure the size, the rotation, the Y and X axis. You could like skew them. There's tons of cool settings. I'm just going to show you. Let's just go into settings here. And it'll scroll down to Bigify Plus and we'll go in here. And as you can see, here are the settings. So size, this is the first one. And this is what all the things that I was talking about. So you have scale and that's of course just size. As you can see, we can make the icons really big, really small, as you can see. Uh, so you can configure the size to your liking and you have a rotation as well as you can see if I start adjusting this as you can see you could completely uh, do a 360 of the icon so spin it completely around uh, you could adjust where you want that to be I'll just make it kind of like this just a little bit tipped maybe there we go and of course you could skew it so this starts to look really funky as you can see you could really manipulate the way that it is shaped uh, you could kind of mess things up which is good because you can reset it back to defaults. Uh, so if you mess things up too much, you could always reset it to default with one click of a button. So that's the size portion. There's some other portions down here like color, for example. There's various settings in here like transparency as well. As you can see, you can make it super transparent and other things. And then we have border as well. You could uh, do some colored borders and stuff like that. There's also some advanced settings. I'm not going to go into all of these, but there's various things you could configure inside here. You could also flip the badges if you want to. Again, various other things that you could do. 
Once you're happy, once you're happy with all these settings, just go ahead and select apply changes at the bottom and your device will respring. And as you can see, the changes have taken an effect. <laughs> it looks absolutely crazy as you can see. So everything's transparent. The icons are sideways and they're bigger. It's absolutely crazy. There's tons of potential with this tweak. You could build really cool setups. You could make things look the way that you want. Obviously this setup that I have right now probably isn't the ideal setup because it looks kind of strange. I mean, maybe you like this, I don't know. But again, you could make things look exactly the way that you want them to look with this. Tons of potential. You could build your own setup. It's very, very nice to have this um, to have this amount of control over the icons on your home screen. Once again, the tweak is called Bigify Plus. It's available in Cydia for two dollars, and if you're upgrading it from a previous version, you could get it for one dollar. And the fifth and final tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Twitter Space Show Keyboard. And there's a space between again Twitter and Show Keyboard, and the Show Keyboard part is all one word. And something that really bothers me about Twitter for iPhone is that it doesn't show the keyboard immediately when you're composing a new tweet. So if I just open up the Twitter app here and I compose a new tweet, as you can see, it's not going to bring up the keyboard. It'll show my photos down here. And if I want to uh, open up the keyboard, I just have to tap up here. And that really doesn't make sense to me. I would think most people generally want to uh, have the keyboard so they can start typing before they're going to attach a photo. And again, this is every time. You can post a new tweet no matter where you are inside the Twitter app. This tweak fixes that. So on my other device over here with this tweak installed, if I show you, as soon as I compose a tweet, no matter where I am, again, same thing. As you can see, it's going to bring up the keyboard just like this, ready for me to type. And if I want to attach a photo, I just select this button right here. Then it's going to show me all my photos. And that really makes a lot more sense for my use of the uh, Twitter application and I'm sure a lot of other people. Generally, when I compose a tweet, I want to type. And if I want to compose a photo, that should be a second thing that you have to tap, not there immediately. So again, this tweak does fix that issue, and it brings up the keyboard immediately whenever you compose a new tweet, no matter where you are inside the Twitter app. And there are no settings or anything like that to configure for this tweak. You install it, and it works exactly as you just saw it. And that's all for this video. I hope you guys found some good tweaks to install on your devices. Be sure to let me know down below in the comment section which one of these tweaks is your favorite. And I'll see you guys later.